What happens if you put dry ice on a running CPU? Well, dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. It can reach temperatures as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius or minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And after removing the cooler from our CPU, we can measure its temperature on this top left line graph. And something incredible happens when we introduce this block of dry ice. After a mere seconds of contact, we see the CPU temperature plummet down to zero degrees Celsius, which honestly is misleading because it's even colder than that. The software just doesn't measure below zero. Safe to assume we're between negative 20 and negative 50 degrees Celsius here. And at this temperature, Temperature, thermal paste is effectively useless because we're outside the bounds of its own operating temperature. So if you've ever been curious what a frozen thermal paste pattern looks like, well, <laughs> here you go. And believe it or not, dry ice does not conduct electricity, so we don't have to worry about itself shorting out our motherboard. But what we do have to worry about is condensation, because at this temperature, vapor in the air turns into liquid water, which does introduce some issues. By far the biggest downside of using dry ice in a computer, other than having to replace it every 